Hey guys, uh, welcome to, to Unbiased Rugby. So we're going to be talking about the, the All Blacks uh, Springboks game in going to be played in Pretoria at Loftus. This is the game I've been, I've been looking forward to for quite a while. Uh, uh, I think it's going to be a, a, a cracker of a game. Uh, I, I really, really hope it's, it lives, out, lives up to the hype. So especially when we it was the first test against the Lions, uh, you know, uh, the All Blacks versus the Lions. And you know there was all this huge big hype, and, and I was just hoping that it would actually live up to the hype, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that too. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, whew, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a little bit I'm, a, I'm as a as a box support I'm I'm a little bit concerned about the game. Uh, I think uh, I think the All Blacks are going to be out for blood. Uh, I think they're going to probably play the most clinical Test rugby that we've seen. In a long time, uh, the Springboks still aren't uh, 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 super well balanced. Yeah, I think that their defence is, uh, is has improved a lot over the last uh, last couple of weeks. I read an interesting article about that. That uh, of all the things to fix in a team, defence is the easiest part to fix because it's, it's not really about skill. It's it's more about an, an attitude and getting up, getting in the right places. Especially the kind of defence uh, that the Springboks are really employing. The defence is. Is okay, but their scramble defense has been really, really good. So, and and but the, it's all about line speed for for the box. And I still think that the the All Blacks are, are going to be the first team to really, really combat uh, the, the the real really good line speed attack uh, that the Lions uh, uh, brought to to New Zealand. And now that the Springboks are playing, so we'll see. We'll see how it, how it is because you know a rush defense like it is. Can be combated with a, a really good Sonny Bill Williams offload with a, a really good chip over the top. Uh, really put the, the scramble defence un, under a lot of lot more pressure. Obviously, have the wing. Uh, uh, the wingers are quite quite inexperienced, so we'll see. Look, I, I haven't got the team sheets out in front of me. I have, they haven't been released at all. But you know, these these last two games is not really about the team sheets, especially this last game. Uh, I'll talk about a few of few of the positions that are a um, few key key areas that I'm going to be uh, watching. Uh, for for me, it's always been about the tight five, uh, and I think uh, the, the the All Blacks tight five is is absolutely uh, devastating. Even their third string, uh, third level props are are world class. Mm. Yeah, I, I, their second level are probably world class. Their third level can step up to that level. Big call and. Uh, Tonga Fassi, they are really, really have they stepped up in that last game uh, astronomically. Uh, I have a feeling that uh, I'm sure they play to start with Owen Franks. He's got the experience. In, he's been at this this level. It's it's a it's a crunch game for 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 the All Blacks uh, playing in front of 57, 54, whatever thousand uh, fans. It's gonna it's a it's a big game. Uh, uh, I was reading some interesting stats that uh, uh, of the four games in the professional era that uh, we've played against the All Blacks at Loftus, we've lost all four. So I think all from '92. So I think that was the last last year of uh, amateur. So we've lost every single game against the All Blacks at, at Loftus. So it's, it's pretty much a happy hunting ground for for the All Blacks. So yeah, uh, but maybe fifth time the charm, yeah. So yeah, it's uh, it's 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 going to be it's going to be interesting. But I, I I'm I'm hoping from a from a South African point of view that we we bring in Vincent Koch. Uh, I I have a I have a feeling that he's been brought in to, because if Big Carl plays, uh, I, I don't think he has he has once or twice gone up against a really good uh, Northern Hemisphere re uh, prop, but I think uh, Vincent Koch is 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 the real deal. You know, he's he's the real deal kind of. Uh, uh, and I, I'm hoping that he gets some game time. Uh, Franz Malherbe has been playing really well, and he probably is my most improved uh, player over the whole the whole tournament from from the first game to 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 this last game. But uh, I just I just have a feeling that Vincent Koch is 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 the next step above uh, Franz Malherbe. We'll see. You know, I'm, I, I I could be wrong. Uh, we're trying to see if it, if we're going on the rotation thing, uh, Stephen Kitsop will probably start because uh, that's how they've been rotating the games. 
personally, I prefer it when the beast comes on first. Uh, uh, Tenda Matairira, I prefer him when he comes on uh, first. He just he just settles down that uh, the pack. He may he may get one or two penalties against him, but he, he adjusts the quickest. Uh, it's not it's not always about strength. So I, I prefer him him to start and then Stephen Kitsov to come on and and, and be the finisher. Uh, Malcolm Marks needs to needs to step up. Yes, he's he's been playing he's been playing really well, but we know that he can step up to to another level, and he hasn't for a while. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I've always wondered why Skulk Brits is there at the moment. I know he's thirty eight. Uh, I wonder if he's going to be on the bench. I, I don't know. You know, it, it, he does bring something a little bit different, but I think he's more there to 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 settle the the pack. Obviously, got uh, Evan going up uh, against uh, Sam Whitelock and. Uh, Barrett, uh, Scott Barrett. Look, uh, I feel for Scott Barrett. Uh, you know, Brady Retallick's shoes are seriously big shoes to fill. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say the two world class locks are, are Brady Retallick and Sam Whitelock. And, and without Brady there, it's a little bit different because by far, Brady Retallick is the best rugby player uh, that's uh, currently playing. Uh, I, I honestly believe he is, he is the real deal. Uh, of, of all the positions, probably the, the best rugby player in the world for me at the moment. Uh, at the breakdown, I, I'm, I see that uh, Francois Lowe's back. I haven't been too impressed with Francois Lowe over this uh, rugby championship. Uh, I'm hoping Skabus Norchi, I hope, I hope he gets another run on if Warren Whiteley's not uh, not injured. But uh, Peter Steff, highest tack, tackle rate in, in the, uh, the competition. Sia Khaleesi is phenomenal at the counter ruck. Uh, so he brings different kind of skills than uh, Sam Kane and uh, Frizzell. Um, um, uh, and then obviously Kieran Reid is just uh, he's on another he's on another level too. It's amazing how many Centurions they're playing in the forts. I think it's Owen Franks, Sam Whitelock, uh, Kieran Reid. So that's three Centurions just in those forwards. That's that's very impressive. With South Africa only got the one. Evans getting up there. He's getting close, but he's not there yet. But I think tomorrow it's going to all be about uh, the forward battle, and uh, uh, I think the New Zealanders probably have the best pack uh, in the competition currently. Uh, but if any pack could stand up against them, I'd say the Springboks could. Uh, and if they can pull it off and they can do it right, they, they may be able to dominate. And uh, Coming to the back row, I've got a feeling I'll start with Aaron Smith. Faf's obviously going to start and he's going to finish. Uh, that's another little bit of a problem that there is at the moment with the Springboks. Uh, Andre Pollard will probably start at 10. I don't think they'll bring on Yankees to, to start and put Pollard out at 11. It's, it, it, at the end of the game, I, I, I see them might be doing that again. But uh, they'll probably start Andre Pollard. The centre pairing... I, I, obviously, for for Sonny Bill Williams uh, with Ryan Cruddy was was excellent. Uh, but I see I, I like Jack Goodhue, and I, I don't know why he's he's, he's not playing. But uh, I, I think uh, Jack Goodhue, but he's no right. He is no Ryan Cruddy. So and Sonny Bill Williams, he's just such an intelligent player. You know, a lot of people talk about him being too old and all that. Those offloads that he was doing, no one can do those kind of offloads. It, 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 literally pure class. Uh, the South African centre pairing still a little bit iffy. Uh, I think if if, if no no injuries, I think uh, Damon Delende would probably start uh, with Jesse Creel in, in the thirteen channel. Uh, I think that's what they'd go for. Um, don't think they'd go with uh, Damon Delende under Estazen. I think are fairly similar, uh, but I think Damon Delende maybe just a, a little got a little bit more experience, a bit bit more skill level. Uh, coming to the wings, uh, I know Sabun Corsi's back. Uh, I don't know if he'll get have a start. You know what? I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, you know the rugby championship's over. It's done. You know New Zealand have won it. They've they've won the game. I think it's time to 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 try something a little bit different. And and I, I just think maybe bring on Sabun Corsi uh, to play on the wing. With uh, Fia Duanti, uh, I think uh, I think that may be the way forward for 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 this game. Uh, 
obviously we'll have Billy Rue playing at, at 15 uh, with maybe Cheslin Colby on, on the bench. It really depends how, how Rusty wants to go with this. Uh, but I, I'd say, you know, the chances are that the bookies probably don't have us to win. Chances are we probably won't win. Uh, so we might as well risk it again, risk risk it all and, and, and see where it happens. Uh, uh, our defense has improved a lot. I still think the Springboks are probably about 30 tests away from from uh, really being the best team in the world. Uh, yeah, I'd say probably say about 30 tests, 30 tests away. Uh, it's good. It's, to get that consistency, uh, we're slowly moving up the rankings now. We're fifth place. Uh, if everything happens according to to what ha uh, my my predictions then we'll stay in fifth place which means we started the competition in seven and ended at fifth which is which is excellent now if the new if the all blacks beat us by 16 and uh, points and above and australia beats uh argentina by 16 points and above then I, and then australia will go back to fifth fifth spot and we'll move down to sixth which seems kind of strange from from an australian side they've only won two games uh, and and you know it's, it's Sometimes the world rankings don't make sense. So yeah, um, uh, the battles. Uh, but yeah, I think I think the All Blacks are going to come out, uh, not get excited. I think they're going to be at their absolute, absolute clinical best. And listen, guys, they 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 are the best team in the world. There there, there is no other better team than them. So we've got to live in a bit of a bit of take a bit of reality pull here. Uh, and yes, I've just read the news, and they're going to make a movie out of the great Japanese victory over the Springboks at the 2015 World Cup. Oh, good grief! Now I'm going to, I'm going to watch this movie. I'm going to have to relive this forever. Uh, this that shock loss that we had against uh, Japan. But yeah, good on the Japanese for getting it right. Uh, I've put in my super brew. Let me write this down here. South Africa to win by four points. Uh, and it's going to be decided with a drop goal, uh, <laughs> just to throw some some salt into the wound. So we'll win by four points, and there'll be a drop goal that will uh, will be the last the last movement of the game for us to to really seal the victory. <laughs> so yeah, I've I've put that uh, I've put that down in my my super brew. Uh, I've locked it, so that's that's how it's going to be. But yeah, it's uh, I think it's going to be a hard game. Uh, if South Africa pull this out of the bag, uh, good on them. I uh, still, I said this the last time we played the All Blacks that uh, even though I'd set us to win by seven, I, I still felt that the All Blacks were going to win. But you know, the Springboks did pull something out of out of a, a, a rabbit out of a hat there. So yeah, uh, things I'd like to see. I'd like to see Vincent Cox start or, or play. Uh, I'd like to see. Uh, uh, Damien, Damien Willemser or uh, uh, Ambrose Papier or, or one of the backs starting to get some game time uh, uh, at near the end of the game. I'm looking for the same defensive, uh, even better defensive uh, reads that we had uh, in Wellington. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think uh, the, the New Zealanders are going to come out and they're going to come out for blood and they're going to want to absolutely, absolutely, absolutely destroy the box. Uh, and that's something I have to say for the boys. I'm going to say good luck on the day. I, I really hope uh, that you guys can stand up and, and, and make us proud. And yeah, and and, and, and win the game for us. Uh, it's It's been the, the best thing these last two games for, for Springbok rugby and South African rugby. Uh, it's been the best thing in, to happen to South African rugby in a hell of a long time. Uh, and I, I honestly believe that um, the strength of a nation's rugby is decided from from two points. It's decided from right at the top and it's decided from right at the bottom. So it's all about having a really strong national side. Uh, it's the same as uh, in the wild. Uh, you judge how how how, how good a, an ecosystem is based on the, on the predators. So if the lions are doing really well, then you know that the whole ecosystem below it is doing really well. So for, from my point of view, it's if the Springboks are doing really well and our grassroots. Uh, is is well managed and we're bringing in that talent at a real grassroots kind of level uh everything else in, in in the middle just has a way of sorting itself out 
so yes, uh, we need to get the Springboks up there. I think our grassroots is working. Uh, the school systems are working. Uh, our varsity cup is working. We're getting the players coming through. Uh, the coaching's happening at that level uh, because we, we, you watch Craig Vierk and you watch all those kind of things and the players are there. Uh, it's just now to get it from the other the other side is to have our Springboks uh, actually now started, starting to, to work really well. So there we go. That's my prediction for the weekend. Springboks to win by four points. Uh, I'm going to be wearing all my, all my, every single Springbok piece of clothing that I have to watch the game. Uh, but just hoping it's a, it's a, an excellent hard rugby game. No yellow cards, no red cards, no decisions that uh, we can sit there for three weeks afterwards saying, oh, the bloody stupid ref, you know, uh, you lost us the game or whatever. You know, that uh, at the end of the game, we know both teams put in everything, every single thing in the best team one on the day. And that's all I want. Uh, but please, guys, put your put your predictions down below of what you guys think the score is going to be, uh, and and what who you looking out for, and what what kind of matchups you looking uh, looking to see on on the day. But listen, guys, I hope you have a have an excellent weekend, an excellent weekend of watching rugby, and uh, chat to you guys soon. Cheers, bye.